Hi, welcome to the channel. Today I have my daughters with me and they are going to help me with my next bake in the Great British Baking Show Love to Bake Cookbook. Um, today we are making Rocky Road, or they're like little bars, but okay. they call them Rocky Road. Let's get started. First, what we have is I've got to make a biscuit part for the bars. <laughs> so we have 75 grams of plain flour, 50 grams of whole wheat flour, and a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda and a pinch of salt. And we're going to pour it in here. Girls, you want to help me pour it in? Yeah. Okay, pour it right into the sifter. Whoa. Okay, and so we're going to sift this real quick. Okay, we're going to add 35 grams of light brown sugar. Okay, can you pour that in? Perfect. We are going to mix to combine. So I'm just going to mix it up. Okay, we have 75 grams of cubed chilled so, um, unsalted butter, and we're going to put that in. Can you put that in for me? All right, and what we're going to do is we are just going to rub this in with our fingers until the texture is coarse sand. All right, girls, are you going to help? Mm -hmm. Can you get closer to us? That's looking really good. Um, <laughs> yep, you guys helped, didn't you? All right, so now it says to make a well in the center, and we're going to pour um, one tablespoon of milk. Can you put that in there? Yeah, right in the middle. In. Right in the middle. There we go. We're going to use a palette knife to stir in the milk. Go ahead. Is it nicer now? So we needed to gently knead it until you have a smooth, neat ball. Okay. It's pretty smooth. You know. Um, and then I lightly dusted my surface here. So I'm just going to kind of flatten the dough out. And we're going to roll it into a 20 centimeter square as best we can. So help, I help, me roll. help me roll. Roll. Okay. Oh, too flat. Okay. Roll. Not too worried about getting it into a perfect square because I am going to put it into a 20 centimeter tray bake tray. Mine's a little bit bigger than 20 centimeters because... 20 centimeters just isn't standard. That's like an eight inch pan, nine inches more standard in the States. So anyway, you want to help me push it? We're just going to push it into the, into the shape. So it's going to be kind of thin. Right girls? Yeah. So it is in there. Um, I'm not too worried about it getting all the way to the corners because we're not going to actually finish <laughs> like this. Um, but I do need to put this into our oven. It is already preheated to 355 degrees Fahrenheit. And oh, I need to poke it with some Dry it. <laughs> with the fork. I don't poke holes with the flour. We're gonna bake this for about 18 minutes. All right, it's been 18 minutes. There, it's looking good. It says until it starts to turn golden brown on the edges, and it's just starting to really brown up. Um, and it also says to turn it out onto a wire rack to let it cool because we are going to use this pan again real fast. So, I mean, I could turn it out or I could just lift it. That it will continue to crisp as it cools. So it's going to crisp up while it's cooling and then I'll be ready to do the next chunk. Okay, so now what I'm supposed to do to make the chocolatey, the rocky road part, um, I've got... 200 grams of milk chocolate chips along with 100 grams of 54% dark chocolate chips. And I'm going to put them over my bowl of simmering water. Let me turn that down a little bit so it's not boiling. Um, and I'm going to melt my chocolate along with um, 75 grams of unsalted butter and one rounded tablespoon of golden syrup, which if you live in the States, you know um, golden syrup is not really a thing. So you can either substitute honey or um, like maple syrup works fine too. I'm electing to do honey clearly today. Okay, and so I'm just going to stir this until it's smooth. You can see my chocolate's already melting. Okay, that is looking smooth and ready to go. Now while my chocolate was melting, um, I went ahead <coughs> and broke my biscuit into little bite-sized pieces because that's what it says to do. Um, I'm going to add this to my bowl that I have 
75 grams of mini marshmallows, well, mostly, I saved a couple, I'll explain why in a minute, 50 grams of raisins, and it says 75 grams of glazed cherries, I mean, just like, you know, canned cherries, I guess, or whatever. I don't like cherries, I just don't. Um, so I'm substituting cranberries, because <laughs> I don't like cherries. So I'm gonna add my biscuit to this bowl, um, and then I'm just going to add the milk, the melted chocolate mixture to it. Okay, and then I'm just gonna stir this up a little, um, basically until it's combined. Now I have relined my baking tin, and I'm just going to get this into there. You can spoon it and spread it level. So there they are. Um, now what I did was I just reserved some of my marshmallows and I'm just going to add them to the top. I guess just to give it a little bit more, uh, you know, color variation because all of the marshmallows got kind of sucked into there. Um, now I do need to let this cool just like this. Um, and then cover and chill for an hour until it's firm. Mm -hmm. Our Rocky Road is cut and cooled. So let's give her a taste, shall we? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. This tastes a lot similar to some a different kind of bar that I make. It is way easier to make, I'm not going to lie. Um, it just doesn't have, like, the cranberries or raisins in it. It's good. Um, you like it? Oh, yeah? You got a raisin? You're going to pick those out. Anyway, I like it. It's a good little bar. Um, it takes a little bit of time, but not too bad. So, there we go. That's my latest bake on my Great British Baking Show cookbook. Love to bake. If you made it this far and enjoyed this, Give me a like yeah, and <laughs> subscribe, and we will see you next week. Yeah, see you next week. See you next week.